Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Star Bazaar. Today we have some rumors going around about the upcoming canon Star Wars video game title called Jedi Fallen Order. Let's check it out. I'm coming at the haters, they're making me more famous Cause my videos got more force than Darth Vader go If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also drop a comment letting me know what you're most eager for in the new game. Let's get that discussion started down below. Jedi Fallen Order is an upcoming single player adventure game which will introduce a new Jedi Padawan to the Star Wars universe as the main character. The game was announced at this year's E3 event to mixed responses but mostly about the way it was announced and not necessarily about the game itself. I don't think we will forget this anytime soon. I wanted to bring a little tidbit. So we've been working with Lucas on getting the name and kind of the setting for what our Star Wars game is going to be, and we're going to talk about it right now. Oh, you guys got any guesses? I bet you the, the internet is going wild right now. I hope so. <laughs> so the Star Wars name is Jedi Fallen Order. Woo! So Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, so it kind of gives you some idea that you'll be playing a Jedi. Right. So, does that mean I get to, like, hold a lightsaber? Yes. <laughs> Despite having an unofficial release date of winter or holiday of 2019, we don't have too many more details about the game. But in yesterday's Making Star Wars podcast, host Jason Ward had said he's been speaking with somebody within the gaming industry who has insider information and is familiar with the development process of this game. Now before going on, I want to reiterate that these are just rumors. There is nothing officially confirmed by Motive Studios, the developers working on the game. So take everything in this video with a grain of crate. But jumping right into it, Jason goes over the overall tone and feel of Fallen Order, as well as how it compares to another popular Star Wars game title. He says the game will have a darker tone and feel, which fits nicely seeing as it is set right after Revenge of the Sith, when the Jedi are being hunted down. He also says the game will be a lot like an older game, The Force Unleashed, but more grounded and without what he calls the Mountain Dew qualities. The Force Unleashed was another single player Star Wars game that came out in 2008 to awesome reviews by both critics and fans. In that game, the main character Starkiller was a secret apprentice to Darth Vader in the years just before A New Hope. In The Force Unleashed, you could control Starkiller to do all sorts of ridiculously overpowered force abilities, including but not limited to pulling a Star Destroyer out of the sky with nothing but sheer force power. I will never forget seeing that in the first commercials for The Force Unleashed, with 17 year old me losing his mind at what he was seeing. This kind of force ability is what Jason was talking about when he said Mountain Dew qualities. He meant the game will not feature the more extreme and implausible force abilities like The Force Unleashed did. Our Padawan's powers will adhere more to the established canon and will be based off what we know Jedi of that level can accomplish from the movies and TV series. So no more shooting force lightning that's stronger than Palpatine's, but that's still cool because it sounds like this will be a very authentic Jedi experience, which I know I for one have been wanting for a while now. One thing Jason did touch on is the multiplayer capabilities of Fallen Order, of which he said the game has none. He encouraged players to keep Star Wars Battlefront 2 installed on your PC or console to fill the multiplayer void that Fallen Order will create. I don't want to look too far into that because that could just be a genuine tip that since Fallen Order will have no multiplayer, it is a good idea to keep Battlefront installed just in case you want to have some online fun. On the other hand, when it comes to a franchise like Star Wars, it wouldn't surprise me to see the major HD game releases work off one another in terms of promotion. What I mean is, there could be a potential event where if you buy Jedi Fallen Order and install it on your system while having Battlefront 2 installed, you could be awarded a small credit bonus in Battlefront 2 for being a loyal Star Wars customer, or something along those lines. Maybe some new canon clone appearances will show up in Fallen Order, and those could be a promotional item in Battlefront 2 that you could buy for discounted credits when installing the game. There are so many possibilities, but for right now this is all just speculation. There is still over a year to go before this game's release, so there is plenty of time for more information to come around and for us to learn more about the story and time period. The similarities between Fallen Order and The Force Unleashed are enough to give us an idea of the new game though. Both take place between Episodes 3 and 4, both feature a darker vibe to the Star Wars universe, and both introduce an apprentice Force user finding their way in a galaxy ruled by the Empire. I think revisiting The Force Unleashed would be a great idea if you're looking forward to Fallen Order. It will give you an idea of gameplay and feel and also put you in a state of mind to enjoy an original Star Wars story. This is all the information Jason Ward could give us on his podcast, but I will be keeping an ear to the ground for any more information about this game and will report on it when I can. 
I'm really looking forward to this game's release. It will be a huge part of this channel when it does drop. So if you want to be the first to get the scoop on Fallen Order, be sure you're subscribed to the Star Bazaar and that you're getting notified of all future videos. That will do it for this one though. I was starting to wonder when we would be hearing more because it has been about three months already since the game's announcement at E3. I do wish we had more than just rumors to go off of, but this is still pretty great news and it gets me even more pumped than I already was for this game. I appreciate you all stopping by the bazaar. This has been Turkish Delight and I will see you all out on the battlefront. Peace. You can't afford Bite that tattoo on your shoulder Pull the sheets right off the corner Of that mattress that you stole